the world watched in awe as China launched the, the lead ship of its Type 076 landing helicopter dock LHD on December 27, 2024. This momentous occasion marked a significant milestone in China's naval modernization program, ushering in a new era of Chinese naval power. The Type 076, also known as the Yulan class, is not merely an upgrade but a radical departure from its predecessor, the Type 075. This vessel is a game changer, a powerful symbol of China's determination to project power across the globe. The Type 076 is designed to operate in the forefront of a new age of warfare, an age dominated by advanced technologies like unmanned systems and artificial intelligence. The ship is more than just a warship. It is a floating air base capable of deploying a fearsome array of fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters and drones. This makes it a formidable force multiplier for the People's Liberation Army Navy plan, significantly enhancing its ability to conduct amphibious assaults, humanitarian aid and disaster relief operations and sea control missions. The Type 076 is a testament to China's unwavering commitment to becoming a dominant maritime power. The ship's cutting-edge design, advanced weaponry and sophisticated sensor suite are a clear indication of China's determination to challenge the existing naval order. With the Type 076, China is sending a clear message to the world. It is a force to be reckoned with on the high seas. The unveiling of the Type 076 has sent ripples of concern throughout the Indo-Pacific region and beyond. Defense analysts and policymakers around the world are carefully studying the implications of this new ship on the regional and global balance of power. The Type 076 represents a significant leap forward in China's naval capabilities, and its impact on maritime security will be felt for decades to come. The Type 076 represents a quantum leap in capabilities compared to its predecessor, the Type 075. While the Type 075 is primarily a helicopter carrier, the Type 076 is designed from the ground up to operate fixed-wing aircraft, most notably unmanned combat aerial vehicles UCAVs. This fundamental difference is evident in the ship's size, displacement and, most importantly, their flight deck configuration. The Type 076 dwarfs the Type 075 in size. It is estimated to displace around 40,000 tons, nearly double the 25,000 tons of the Type 075. This increased displacement allows the Type 076 to accommodate a much larger flight deck, measuring approximately 260 meters long and 52 meters wide. In contrast, the Type 075's flight deck is significantly smaller, limiting its ability to operate fixed-wing aircraft. The most striking difference between the two vessels lies in the Type 076's incorporation of a catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery, CATOBAR system. This system, similar to that used on US Navy aircraft carriers, utilizes a powerful electromagnetic catapult to launch aircraft and arresting gear to recover them. This technology is essential for operating heavier aircraft like UCAVs, which require a significant amount of thrust to become airborne. The Type 075, lacking a catabar system, is restricted to operating helicopters and potentially short takeoff and vertical landing stovall aircraft. This difference in capabilities has significant implications for the plan's operational flexibility. The Type 076's ability to operate fixed-wing UCAVs like the GJ-11 Sharp Sword significantly enhances the plan's long-range strike capabilities. It also provides the plan with a platform for developing and deploying future generations of carrier-based aircraft, including potentially manned fighters. The Type 075, while still a capable platform, lacks the same level of flexibility and future growth potential. The development of the Type 076 can be traced back to mid-2020, when a request for proposal RFP detailing specifications for a new LHD surfaced online. This RFP provided the first concrete indication that China was pursuing a more ambitious vision for its amphibious warfare capabilities, one that went beyond the capabilities of the Type 075. The RFP hinted at a vessel significantly larger than the Type 075, equipped with advanced technologies like an electromagnetic catapult and a sophisticated integrated electric propulsion system. To support the construction of this ambitious project, 
a new dry dock was completed at the Jiangnan shipyard on Chongqing Island in September 2023. This dry dock, one of the largest in the world, was purpose-built to accommodate the construction of supersized vessels like the Type 076. The speed at which the dry dock was completed highlighted China's determination to fast-track the Type 076 program, underscoring the strategic importance placed on this new class of warship. The launch of the lead ship, Pennant No. 51, at the Hudong Zhonghua shipyard in Shanghai on December 27, 2024, marked the culmination of years of intense design and development. The, with its imposing size and sleek silhouette, immediately captured the world's attention. The vessel's design incorporates a number of innovative features, including a twin island configuration for optimized navigation, ship operations and flight operations. The Type 076 is also equipped with a state-of-the-art integrated electric propulsion system. This system, which utilizes a combination of gas turbines and diesel generators, provides the ship with increased efficiency, range and flexibility compared to traditional mechanical propulsion systems. The integrated electric propulsion system also reduces the ship's acoustic signature, making it more difficult to detect and track.